there is a fireplace in the scene and I added the fire to make it look more realistic. I'll show you how I did it. For that go into settings, click on plugin and then search for Niagara and check on Cascade to Niagara converter. Enable it if you haven't did it yet and you have to restart your engine. I already have it so I'll just close this window. Now into your content folder, in a starter content, go into particles. Now right click on the file and click on the convert into Niagara system. It's gonna create copy of the same particle into Niagara system instead of cascade particle system. You can save it here or you can put it in any other folder in your content browser. Drag it to the scene. Nothing will happen. Now open it. Now in this window, disable spark. Disable the flame. Now we are going to do the settings. In flames, disable light renderer. Disable caustic conversion light properties. Disable dynamic metering. Disable dynamic material parameters. And add velocity. Now in spawn rate, make it 8 to increase the flame. Add velocity minimum x value 0 and maximum x value is 0. So you can only set z axis which is 5 and 14. Now go into shape location, sphere radius, select sphere. You can increase or reduce the sphere size up to you. Now in smoke. Click on spawn rate, increase spawn rate to 10 to have constant smoke. Now click on add velocity, linear velocity mode is linear. Change the minimum x and maximum x value to 0. You can also work with sprite size here. My fire is constant so I am not going to change it. Now we are going to umber setting, spawn rate to 5. Shape location is sphere. Shape location of sphere going to decrease around 3. And go into initial particle in the sprite size section. I like it minimum one, x1, one, maximum 1.4, and y2, and 4. You can decrease or increase its scale. Up to you. Now in distortion, change the spawn rate around 3 and that's it you can do your own setting get the look you want and nice looking fire over here and for fire light flicker i have made light function material i'll show you in another video and how i made this interior environment i'll give the link in the description below thank you for watching i hope you will like and subscribe to my channel for more videos